All right, this vi last video uh, concludes our series of videos on working with raster data in QGIS. In this case, I've opened a new print layout in um, QGIS that has counties labeled along with um, where the agricultural land is located. I'm going to cover how you add an attribute table in here, along with reviewing a couple of um, other map elements, um, primarily the scale bar. So there's a tool right down here that says, um, if you mouse over it, let's see if I add a new attribute table to the layout, that will add an attribute table for a file. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and do that over here. And we see we've got our attribute table for that county data. Um, this is pretty long. Well, um, we don't need all these. We just need a couple. We want to have um, one of these two columns. Let's just stick with the main column. And we need that percentage column. If we click on attributes, we can select um, which ones we want and don't want. So I'm going to get rid of these two and get rid of, hold on, let's try this again. I'm going to get rid of the FID and GOID field, subtract that, get rid of all these. We don't care about any of these. Get rid of our counts and sums and zonal counts and zonal sums. And we, then we just have name and ag percent. Then in addition, we want to sort these data. So we're going to do ag percent is how we want to sort it. And we want to start with the high values and go down to the low values. So we'll click, um, we'll click add and then click OK. And now look at that. Now we've got those counties in order based on their um, percentage agricultural. If we wanted to, we could add a, um, another text table here and put a title here. Um, with our data. We could also add a scale bar um, down here, as you're supposed to do. You also need to add credits to this map um, about where these data come from. Um, but this gives you some sense of how this process works. So that should be it. Um, good luck on making your own map.